The results were that the original performed 362% better than the variation. Thumbnails are super important if you've got a YouTube channel. They can mean the difference between someone clicking through and watching your video or not. So how do you know if you've got the best thumbnail? Well, you can do some A-B testing with this brilliant tool. To perform an A-B thumbnail test, I use a tool called TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy has a load of different tools, but the A-B test is by far my favorite. And I performed a lot of them over the years it allows you to test different variations of thumbnails to ensure you're getting the correct click-through rate and it's very important to get the right thumbnail check this one out the results were that the original performed 362 percent better than the variation so obviously i stuck with the original so that was a very simple test where i changed a very simple thumbnail to one with a bit of a funkier background and the funkier background version did not perform well at all so to get started, you want to take a look at your stats and have a look and see which thumbnails might benefit from a test. So if we have a look at the reach stats, you can see on this recent video I did, I'm only getting a click-through rate of 0.6%. So it's not done very well at all. So I've come up with a new thumbnail to test. Once you log into TubeBuddy, you create an A-B test and select the video you would like. You can test meta Data, but I'm just going to be testing the thumbnail. You can run the test for a set number of days or until it's statistically significant and you can stop the test at any point. So I'm going to select this one and it will start tonight. So here's the original and here's the test thumbnail and what will happen is each day the video will show this for one day then it will swap to this for one day and it will flick backwards and forwards between the two and TubeBuddy will collect the information required to see if it is performing better or worse. So if you're ready to start, click yes. And that's it, it's very easy. You're going to need to wait for some initial results. It's Monday today and I've got to wait until Friday to see some initial results. So the test is now underway and when they're completed, you get to see all the stats. So let's just go into another one, give you a quick overview. And you can see I've done this for quite a few. This is how useful this is. So let's try this anchor capsule. So these are the two thumbnails. This was the original thumbnail where I, where I had three little pictures. I then edited it to show just two pictures on the same one. And you can see that the variation, the second version, performed a lot better than the original. It then goes into the analytics behind that. So you can see the click-through rate of my original was 2.13%. But by just changing that thumbnail, I got more clicks through to my video. It jumped up to 8.55%. So you've got all these different stats that you can have a look at and basically by getting a better thumbnail you, you in theory should get more clicks, more views on your video and potentially more subscribers. So this is a very useful tool, I love it, you can see that I use it all the time. If you haven't heard of TubeBuddy, it's a tool for YouTubers that helps you manage your account and in some cases can help you grow it. So that thumbnail AB tester has been incredibly valuable for me because every time I swap out a thumbnail for a better performing one, I'm gaining more traffic to my channel and more potential subscribers. So just to demonstrate that point, here's a thumbnail I changed. This was the original with me holding out the smart mic. Here it is where the smart mic's much clearer and it looks like I'm out and about doing some vlogging. And you can see that the variation had a higher click-through rate, 4.6 versus 3.7. And the total views during the test was 64 compared to 60. Now that might not seem like a lot, but if I now have swapped this over, it means that I will be gaining extra views compared to my original thumbnail. And that's why it's worth doing these A-B tests because it can gain you more views, which could convert into more subscribers. So if you are looking to grow your channel, that is one of the key tools that they offer. They do have a range of other tools available. And if you want to learn more, I will put an affiliate link in the description below. One thing I would say about TubeBuddy, although generally it is a fantastic tool, it does seem to be a little bit stuck in the past when it comes to things like video tags. They seem to be obsessed with putting tags in videos and that's very much a thing of the past now. You can easily do well on YouTube without adding any tags to a video at all. So don't get too hung up if you use TubeBuddy on some of the things that they're proposing as being essential. I think use the tools like the A-B tester correctly. That can genuinely help your channel, but some of the others seem to be a little bit left over from 
five, 10, 15 years ago, whenever it was that TubeBuddy first came out, and those things were important. If you want to check out TubeBuddy, I'll put an affiliate link in the description below. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. I'll see you on my next video.